This is essentially a hearing about terrorism and how to fight it. So it is relevant to bring up the plight of Dr. Afridi with the, the understanding of my colleagues and those who have come to hear this hearing. Uh, Dr. Afridi is the man who confirmed the location of Osama bin Laden in his Pakistani safe house. Uh, Defense Secretary Panetta said Dr. Afridi played a pivotal role in making it possible for our special forces to administer justice to bin Laden for his role in plotting the massacre of 3,000 Americans on 9-11. Pakistan gave this mass murderer safe haven. Dr. Afridi, a Pakistani uh, physician, risked his life so justice could be done. Uh, then we left him behind, and this hero is now sitting in a Pakistani prison. Dr. Afridi has been tortured and his family threatened. Uh, those are hostile acts by Pakistan against the United States and belie the notion that Pakistan is an ally of ours in the war against terrorism. Um, so I would hope our Assistant Secretary Blake, uh, I hope he takes back the, to Foggy Bottom the message of the American people that the State Department needs to get Dr. Afridi released from prison using whatever pressure on Pakistan is needed. We cannot defeat terrorism in Euro-Asia or anywhere else if we cannot recruit allies, and, we can, and we're never going to be able to recruit allies if we betray those who side with us against this ferocious and, and, and horrible enemy that all, all of us in humankind face of, of radical Islamic terrorism and, yes, other forms of terrorism as well. Since September 11th, uh, 2001, terrorist attacks in the United States, uh, uh, we American policy towards uh, the Central Asian states has aimed basically at facilitating their cooperation with the United States and NATO stabilization efforts in Afghanistan. The level of cooperation by the government of Uzbekistan, Karichistan, if I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm sure, Tajik, uh, Tajikistan, this, uh, their level of cooperation with these three governments has been outstanding since 9-11. There has even been a respectable level of cooperation with Russia in Afghanistan and in other regional hotspots. During most of this period, terrorism in Central Asia was kept to a minimum. However, since 2010, there's been an increase in violence by Islamic militants in Central Asia. A closer look at security risks in the region north of Afghanistan is long overdue, and it is imperative that we move, uh, as we move, to a U.S. pullout of troops by 2014, that we focus on what that will result in in those countries just north of Afghanistan. Uh, the point of today's hearing is to examine what efforts the United States is making to keep Central Asia stable and to improve relations with the states in the region. Uh, that means helping out our friends, and yes, uh, remember, those that, by helping the enemy of our enemies, uh, we are conducting ourselves in you know, the most efficient way of providing defense for our own people. Just two days ago, a congressional delegation led by myself and including Mr. Poe uh, uh, returned from the region. The members of the CODEL were impressed with the commitment uh, of the Uzbek, Uzbek government uh, to work with the United States to thwart the catastrophic consequences of the Taliban retaking power in Afghanistan. We were also impressed that there are brave forces anxious to fight and defeat radical Islam in that area. For example, uh, uh, there, are, there is the MEK, whose leaders we met in France, that stands vulnerable, yet it is willing to do what it can to resist the Mullah dictatorship in Iran. Uh, the Baluch National Insurgency, whose representatives we met in London, were dedicated and courageous people who are under fire in Iran and Pakistan, uh, both terrorist-supporting uh, regimes 
uh, also that repress, they not only threaten their neighbors, but threaten their own people in the name of militant Islam. In short, radical Islam threatens us all. We should be supplying those courageous opponents uh, uh, of those who threaten us. Uh, with that said, uh, I would now turn to uh, uh, the chairman of the Terrorism Task Force or Terrorism Subcommittee, uh, Judge Poe.